to Machinix sent this wireless gaming mouse for review and this is called the M722 wireless gaming mouse. As per usual, we'll check its physical overview, features and more. We'll tell you everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the box? Obviously the gaming mouse itself. The USB A to USB C cable around 6 feet with a very unique cable end. The manual. And I almost forgot the 2.4 GHz dongle hidden in the mouse dongle compartment of the mouse. This is actually very nice. Now let's check out some physical overview. So the build is all plastic material with different kinds of texture finish on some parts. The top shell seems to have this satisfying feel when you touch it. The side grips looks rubberized but they are not and it is composed of glossy and grippy plastic design. Bottom shell seems to have this sandblasted texture, not visible on the camera but you'll feel it when you hold the mouse. Perhaps this is because of the white color. By the way, there's also a black version of this mouse and if you are interested in that, I also place a link in the description where you could check it out later. At the back, it has this railing design effect and in front, you'll see the USB-C input. If you notice, the overall design looks like a sports car and this will be even more so visible if you turn on the RGB. Speaking of RGB, I love the even color distribution. It has two in front like headlights, one strip from side to side, three on the top and these three dots over here are the battery indicator. It has a total of five buttons, the usual left, right and middle mouse button. The two side buttons which are programmable in its software which we'll check it out in a bit. If you're curious how does it sounds like, well, here is a sound test. Underneath, besides the two mouse gliders and sensor, we also have the on, off and power saving mode switch and also the DPI toggle button. Now let's talk about its features. So this mouse can be used as wired or wireless. It has a PW3335 optical sensor up to 16,000 DPI, 1,000 polling rate and 1,000 mAh battery for 120 hours of gaming. And this has a weight of 95 grams and if you are curious about its dimensions, you can just check this out. Now let's check out the driver. So this is the Machinic M722 driver and looks basic and straightforward. We have four major sections aka the lighting, DPI, parameter and also the macro. So you could actually program all of these buttons accordingly depending on your game or workflow you are into. You could also change the polling rate, RGB lighting preset, brightness, speed, RGB color change on this side. The RGB lighting presets only affects this part of the mouse, not this two, nor the scroll wheel lighting. So basically, if you want to change these colors, you have to go to the DPI section, click the DPI stage and change the color on this side. There's no way to synchronize the RGB section, so I guess we can't do anything about it unless there is a driver update. By the way, the battery color LED does not change at all, but I love where it is positioned because it looks like an underglow and it is easy to recognize if you need to charge the mouse or not. We also have a parameter tab over here where you could change the settings accordingly. Also, if you are into macros, you could change the settings here. For me though, like I always say, I don't use macros at all but it is here when you need it. Now let's do some latency tests. Like every other mouse with 2.4 GHz dongle, this one also needs to have the receiver near it for less interruption. There's not much of a delay if you'll ask me and the connection seems to be stable. If there's any, it will be like uh, 0.05 seconds. Not accurate though, it's just my opinion. Wireless is recommended for casual gaming but for a competitive one, I suggest use the wired mode. Now let's move on to the conclusion. I just got some simple problems about the mouse and this is me just being picky so ignore these opinions if you don't agree. 
Number one, the software does not work when you are in wireless mode. It only works when you are in wired mode. So basically, you have to depend on the default setting of the mouse and you will not be able to apply the modified settings of the software while you are in the wireless mode. So that actually defeats the purpose of having a software in the first place. The driver should work in both wired or wireless. Number two, manually changing the profile. I wish the profile settings will automatically switch when the game or the app is already running. To manually change the profile every time is really an inconvenient, especially when you're already in the game and you have to go back to Windows just to switch to a different profile. And number three, the RGB synchronization. I wish that we could synchronize them all together, having the presets applied to all RGB parts. If I'm not mistaken, these are just driver issues. A simple update could fix this. I might made it sound too simple but I believe that Machinic could do something about this. I hope you guys are listening. Now let's talk about the approved features. I love the mouse switches and all buttons since all have the satisfying clicks when pressed. Delay is not noticeable in wireless mode and gaming in it is much appreciated. Though the software needs improvement, I love the fact that it has several features that you could personalize, especially the programmable buttons, DPI, polling rate, and RGB. I also like that the mouse has a long battery life and automatically turns off when not being used to save battery. Mouse dangle has its own compartment so you won't lose it. USB-C is also appreciated. The overall design is aesthetically pleasing especially when the RGB is on. Anyway, if you will ask me if I'll recommend this one, well, that is still a yes. Those approved features are just too awesome to dismiss. If you want one for yourself today, I place a link in the description for you to check it out. And if you think this mouse is not for you, perhaps you want to check out the other mouse reviews that we have on your screen. If you're still watching, I believe that you really enjoyed the video and for that, I got a special surprise for you. Machinic is giving a special coupon to all viewers of this video and you'll have a special coupon for this keyboard in Lazada. We will also review this very soon so subscribe and click that bell icon so you won't miss it. Once again guys, check out the links in the description for more info. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.